Welcome to the Royal College of Radiologists Final FRCR Part B Reporting and Rapid Reporting Component. This video is designed for candidates to demonstrate how to select, view, manipulate and move through examination cases, although it may also be useful for trainers. The two different elements of the exam are run back to back and this instructional video includes guidance on both. Whilst attempting the examination, Candidates are seated at individual workstations comprising a 21.5-inch Apple Mac Core i5 and a mouse. The examination is delivered with a Cyrix software, which provides a simple image viewing window with the image manipulation functionality found on a PAX workstation, such as Zoom, Pan and Windowing. The reporting component comprises six cases, each of which require a written report and runs for 60 minutes. The cases presented include a range of modalities, such as plain film, CT, MRI, ultrasound, barium, fluoroscopy or contrast studies, and cases may comprise multiple modalities. A case number is provided at the top of the screen along with a brief description of the series or image. Candidates are provided with an answer book in which to write their reports. The answer book contains brief case histories and other relevant clinical data for each case and space for answers is laid out in a standard format. Two practice cases are provided and candidates are permitted a short time prior to the examination starting to practice moving between cases. The practice images are labelled Case 0 and Case 00, zero and following the practice cases is the examination start screen which is labelled Case 000. Candidates must not proceed beyond the start screen until instructed to do so by the invigilator. Candidates viewing the first examination case prior to the start of the examination risk being disqualified. Candidates can move through the cases sequentially, both backwards and forwards, using the patient arrows or by clicking on the database button to access a list of all the cases in the examination. The exam cases are labelled from case 01 through to case 06. All parts of each case are listed, so it can initially appear that there are three copies of case 0. Clicking on any of the three lines for case 0 will result in the automatic loading of all parts of the case. Examination cases are labelled with the relevant case number and a general description according to content. Practice Case 0 is made up of three images. The images are listed as thumbnails down the side of the screen and all thumbnails should be clicked in order that all the images that make up that case are viewed. Upon selecting a thumbnail, it will turn orange and the image will appear on the main screen. Candidates should avoid clicking on the descriptor boxes between the thumbnails of the images as this may hide the thumbnail that relates to the description. Re-clicking the descriptor boxes will make the thumbnails reappear. On practice case 00, there are more thumbnails than can be accommodated on one screen. The presence of the scroll bar at the side of the image indicates that there are additional thumbnails lower down. Remember to use the scroll bar to view the additional thumbnails if there is one present. The functionality of the software is similar to that of a PAX workstation. Brightness and contrast can be manipulated by clicking on the shaded contrast button, holding the left mouse button down and moving it forwards and backwards or side to side. Reverting to the standard view after changing the brightness and contrast can be achieved by pressing the reset button. Candidates can zoom on the image by clicking on the magnifying glass, holding the mouse over the image and sliding the mouse forwards and backwards to move in and out of the image. Clicking the cross button provides the ability to pan and look at the image in more detail. To revert to the standard view, just click the reset button. Candidates can rotate the image by clicking on the circular arrow, holding the left mouse button down and then moving around the image. Again, to revert to the standard view, just click the reset button. Cases which contain CTs, MRIs, mammograms, ultrasound scans, fluoroscopy, cystograms or MRCP examinations must be scrolled through in order that the whole series can be viewed as these scans are not single images. 
The case description for practice case 00 tells us that this case is a T1-weighted axial MRI scan. MRI scans are viewed by scrolling through the MRI dataset. There are two different ways to do this. The easiest is to use the wheel on the mouse to scroll through the images. This stops when you reach the end of the series. The alternative is to click on this book button. The cursor will change to represent the book and holding the left mouse button down permits candidates to scroll smoothly backwards and forwards through the images. To move on to the next series, click on the next thumbnail at the side of the screen. CT scans also form part of this practice case. Like the MRI functionality, after clicking on the CT scan, candidates can scroll through using the wheel on the mouse or the book button. CT window presets are also available, for example, bone windows, which can be selected by clicking on the drop-down menu here, which will provide a choice of abdomen, bone, brain or pulmonary windows. Select an appropriate window setting before scrolling through. To go back to the original soft tissue window setting, just click the reset button. Note these window presets cannot be used on MRI scans. Do not use either of the two remaining drop-down options. All other buttons and the toolbar displayed are standard features of Osirix and should not be pressed during the examination. Importantly, clicking on any of the traffic light buttons, the red, orange and green circles here, will result in the viewing window disappearing from the screen. In addition, do not click on the button showing a green line. Clicking on this will result in the image being annotated with lines that will not respond to the reset command, which will cause a delay while the image is recovered by college staff. At the end of the examination, the screen will automatically revert to the home screen and candidates will no longer be able to view images. Candidates are reminded that, prior to the start of the rapid reporting element, examination conditions still apply and all candidates should remain quiet and seated. The rapid reporting component will start immediately after the reporting component. Rapid reporting comprises 30 cases and it runs for 35 minutes. Candidates are required to identify those cases that show normal appearances and those that show an abnormality. Many cases are similar to those encountered in the reporting of A&E and GP referred cases and therefore the images are primarily plain radiographs. Where an abnormality is present, candidates are expected to briefly identify this and give a diagnosis. An answer sheet is provided with space for answers laid out in a standard format. The setup and functionality of the software is exactly the same as for the reporting session. During the course of the examination, all screen activity on computer workstations is monitored. If suspicious activity is identified on an individual workstation, it will be locked remotely in order that the college can investigate further. In the unlikely event of computer hardware or software failure during the examination, candidates should alert an invigilator by raising their hand. Spare workstations are available if necessary. Sample images and other information about the final FRCR Part B examination, including venues, marking and results, are available from the college website.